Happy Saturday morning. And welcome to Dream and Draw, our weekly series where we dream about what architecture can be and draw it. Today, we will be looking at a market hall, meaning a covered market. This one is combined with an apartment building. The apartment building acts as a covering for the food market. Although the building is enclosed, the building feels very open due to the transparency, the giant scale, the arch shape, and the glass walls at both ends. The inside of the building is a work of art. A mural of lush shapes and colors cover the inside of the arch. Also, apartment windows puncture through the inside walls so those living in the apartments can look down into the market. Would you like to live over a fun and busy market like this one? Now we will prepare a drawing that captures the essence of this building. We will first start with our ground line. Next we will create the framework for this large building. The building's shape is rectangular in form. We will first draw some guidelines to give us some spatial guides to place the building in space and have proportion correct. We will start at the left side of our page and draw a line from the bottom up to the top. We will draw a similar line across the page, like so. Lastly, we will draw a line across the top to connect the two lines. This is the box that represents the outside edges of the building. Next, we will draw a box that represents the inside edges of the building where the interior space is formed. We will come in from the edge to about here and draw a line up almost to the top. We will draw a line on the right side in similar fashion, stopping at the same location. Lastly, we will draw a line across the page like so. These lines are the framework for our curved shapes. We have one more line to draw. That will be the back of the courtyard space. We will start at the similar point on the left and draw a line up and then do the same thing on the right side. Last, we will connect the two lines across the top. So we have a series of three boxes. First, we will create the outer shape, which forms the edges and the curves of the building. The lines will begin where we start on the left side here and draw a slightly sloping line up towards the top of the page. When our line gets to about half or a little bit past halfway, we will start to create a curved shape that would represent the curved shape of the building. This line will then continue flat across to the other side. We will draw a similar line on the right side of the drawing. If you need to go back to fix your line, feel free to do so. These are guidelines and they just help us place the building in space. Next, we will draw the inner line. This line will be drawn on the right side of our guidelines. So first we'll start just to the right of this line about here, and we will create a curved shape that touches the guideline and then comes back around to create a rounded shape, like so. That shape is symmetrical, which means it's the same on the left and the right. So we will do the same thing on the right side. Lastly, we will do the same thing with this other guideline. This one will start on the right side of our left line and create a curved shape that goes up to the top and then back down to the middle. Feel free to adjust your lines as you see fit so that they look and feel the way that you want them to. Next, we will draw in some windows. We will draw in a few windows to represent the apartment buildings that are inside of this structure. There is a top row of windows here. And then there are some on the sides. Lastly, there are some doors at the ground level, so these will be windows. They will look like windows, but they actually touch the ground. There we go. We have the basic bones of our building. Now we will go over the lines with a heavy pen. The windows and doors we will go over with a light pen. We can go ahead and get started.
Next, we will color our drawing. Today, we need five colors for our building. We have a gray color. This will be the front of the building. We have a red color, a dark blue, and a yellow. These will be for the mural on the inside. And then lastly, we have a light blue color, which is going to be the glass. First, we will start with the gray, then we will do the mural, and then lastly, we will do the blue. For the mural, we are going to use our marker to create dots. You'll see how we do it in the video and you can follow along. Let's get started. Thanks for joining us for Dream and Draw.